Alrighty, y'all, what's going on today? So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the Apple Trackpad 2. Apple Magic Trackpad 2, excuse me. So this is, yeah, like I said, it's the second iteration of the Apple Magic Trackpad. I never had the first one, but I heard they did uh, quite a few upgrades on this one, and I, you know, I, I can't do necessarily a comparison between the two, but what I can say is I really, really do enjoy this, especially for my, using it for my iMac. Obviously, you have like a MacBook, you're not going to need need one of these because you have that built in, but it's nice. It kind of gives you the same feeling. It's very, very flexible. It's nice to not have to move a mouse around on my wooden desk, which, you know, can just get a bit annoying after a while. So having something like this is very, very helpful. And yeah, it's just great. I'll talk about the look of it really quick. So first of all, it looks super sleek. You have this white top, very, very nice and glossy, very smooth finish, very reminiscent of just, you know, all like Mac products. And, you know, it just looks really great. I mean, the thing is sleek, super sleek overall. One thing that I do really dig about it is that it does have a an angled design to it so you do move up as you move which is great and it also just helps so it doesn't slide around I feel like if it were flat it would very much move but I feel like the fact that it's angled when you put pressure on it it's not going to slide around on the surface that you're using it on which is very very helpful that being said it also does have these little rubber feet that are on the bottom they're very very small you can, they barely make a difference in terms of the height, but what they do do well is keep your trackpad from moving around on your desk. So really, come, whatever kind of surface that you're working on, this should be, you know, totally, totally fine. You also have a little Apple logo that's right here in the center, which is really nice. Again, just kind of like the, you know, the standard kind of, sleek Apple design that they've really been hit in the past couple of years or so. <laughs> so I really, really like a lot of things about this. One, you have a built-in battery, and it's, you know, really, really great. It lasts a very, very long time. You know, I probably have to charge it, I would say, maybe every month or so. Battery lasts, uh, again, like a very, very long time. And it's similar to kind of, I guess, the mouse that I was using before, the regular mouse that I had. So in, in terms of the length of time that you can use it, it's very much like that. It is Bluetooth enabled as well, so you can connect it up to your MacBook through uh, Bluetooth. Also, it is connectable. I mean, obviously you have this for charging right here. It's a regular kind of USB, I can't remember what they call it, the, the like iPhone chargers basically. You can plug that in. You can either plug it into your MacBook to use it like that, or use that to actually charge it. You have the lock right here. It's going to lock it, keep it from going. The one thing that I really dig about this, it's very sensitive to like pressure, which is cool. First of all, you have a very, very large surface area, so you have a lot to work with, which is great. There are sometimes, you know, most of the time I'm using it for like music related things. So, you know, I don't necessarily really need that, but if I'm using something along the lines of like Adobe, uh, Photoshop, things like that, having that larger surface area to work with is nice. Especially if you're working on a larger screen, I feel like it just makes workflow a little faster, makes, you know, kind of moving around your screen easier. And it works from edge to edge, which is great gives you a lot of room more I mean I have a, a MacBook as well and this is kind of see compare sizes it's much bigger than that too so you have quite a bit of room to work with here it also like I said ch and it changes it has different functions based on how much pressure you actually put on it so you can really get like uh, you know tons of just a deeper I guess like connection with your actual uh, iMac just in terms of like how hard you press things, et cetera, et cetera. Overall, I would highly recommend it. It's just much better than a mouse, in my opinion. And if you have an iMac, yeah, definitely check this thing out. Again, it's the Apple Magic Trackpad 2. And yeah, take it easy, guys.